Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 7th of October 2022, and I'm looking at Metroid on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, now, believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever played Metroid. Yes, I'm behind in the times. I do apologise. But, um, yeah, never played a Metroid game, ever. So this is my first experience with a Metroid game, and by all accounts, they're supposed to be very good. Um, so we're going to go through all the usual criteria as we play. Uh, so it's kind of a first impressions, but it's going to be a review at the same time because I'm that good. Okay, so um, it's a run and gun, basically, side-scrolling shooter by the look of it. Um, it's, oh, do you know what? I quite like the aesthetics on this already. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so we'll just uh, we'll just go with it. Uh, so you play as Samus Aran, which, in a, a bit of a twist of. Um, Fortune is a woman! Yes, um, it, it was uh, kind of like a... We're talking like pre Lara Croft here, so it's, it's kind of a big deal at the time um, that Samus was revealed to be a lady. Um, but yeah, I, li I, I like this. This is the kind of game that the, the NES was really built for, isn't it? Sort of Metroid-type games in Castlevania, that sort of thing. It really excelled in that kind of thing. Um, I really like so far. I like the animations. It's very arcadey as well, which is quite cool. Um, released on on I think I think it was an arcade game, but it was released I think probably on the Nintendo arcade systems. Uh, if you remember those, uh, especially in the UK, we had these machines, and basically you put money in, and the money gave you time rather than credits. So I think like 10p was worth a minute or something like that. But you could put your money in, and then you could play the games on the arcade. I say arcade. It was basically a Nintendo entertainment system with games that you could just select and play great stuff um but yeah this is quite cool i like this um it, it's, it reminds me of Mega Man a little bit but not like exclusively you know um so we've got energy in the top there so whenever i collect those blue orbs it seems to give me more energy now i don't know whether that is hit points or whether that is like gun energy or something like that i'm not sure we'll we'll we'll, we'll work it out as we go um I like the fact the character is very, very outstanding. I think like you, you couldn't really lose yourself on the screen, could you? Bright orange and yellow. Uh, it's, it's great. Absolutely great. Red, red boots, red helmet, orange spacesuit. Oh, and a green gun. Yes. You can't go anywhere without your green gun. Um, I like this a lot, actually, already. Um, the fact there's no backgrounds actually is quite nice because it, it, it um, there's nothing to slow the game down, which is even better. Um, so it's 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 kind of basic, but it works. So we've got all these nice platforms, and do you know what? There's there's so far there's nothing here that's going to frustrate you, um, especially me. I get very frustrated with games anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, if it, if it's like one of those games that you just can get repetitively uh, knocked off platforms, and it's a real chore to get back up again. But this game so far seems to be um, pretty good, pretty good on that front. So we've got different zones and different levels that you can access through these little doors. Which I, I think you need to shoot them all to open them, and that's what that seems to be the um that seems to be the, the, the kick so far anyway. Reach a blue door, shoot it, go through it. Now I'm pretty sure that there's gonna be places that I'm meant to go and you guys are screaming at me already, going, You need to go the other way because you missed something. Yes, I know, I probably have, because I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. Um I think the key to this game is basically keep your energy levels up. Because uh, that does seem to be your hit points. So if you see those blobs drop, then uh, pick them up immediately. Um, but I like the fact there's different enemy types and all that jazz as well. I like that a lot. And these seem to be never-ending, so I'm just going to try and avoid them. Let's see how we get on. Um, so every time you get hit, let's see how many hit points does it take off you. I've got 55 now. If I get hit again, I'm going to get 60. So five hit points. I'm guessing you get five taken off you if you get hit. Uh, so there we go. Now I'm quite pleased I managed to bring this game to you today because I am away for a week next week, going to Turkey with my beloved, and it's a child-free holiday for the first time in six years. So I'm going to be enjoying that. Um, but uh, fear not, the review will be back. Let's say the review. Buy me that. I'm gone. I'm going back in time. The games arcade will be back after that. Um, I should be back around the 18th. I get back, but um, there probably won't be anything until the 19th or 20th at the earliest. Also, look out for live streaming. I've got everything set up now. I've just got to uh, essentially have the guts to pull that that button that says start broadcasting. 
So look out for me on Twitch. It's Games Arcade or Games underscore Arcade on Twitch. Go and check it out. I'll put a link in the description if I remember. Um, but there will be broadcasts going on there. And if you guys want to come and join me, that would be great. If you want to see me streaming on YouTube, let me know. And if you want to see me on Facebook, let me know. I have put a poll up on the uh, channel. So please have your say. And um, let's have some fun together. It's all very well reviewing these games. But it's a one-man show, you know what I mean? But with you guys, we can play some games and have some fun. Together! Yeah, kind of. You'll be able to speak to me live anyway. So that'd be cool. Quite looking forward to that. I'm very nervous about that because obviously it's a very, very different kettle of fish to uh, broadcasting like this. But uh, I'm sure everyone will have fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So let's pull the plug on that one and do it soon. I'm um, hoping to start a live stream very, very soon. I might even do one before I go away just as a test broadcast. So I know what I'm doing when I get back. Anyway. Back to this. The uh, controls are nice and simple as well. Because the NES only had uh, directional pad, start, select, and B and A, there wasn't really much you needed to learn. Um, so you've got your fire button, you've got, oh, it's game over. So you don't have any lives, you have one life. Okay, we can we, we can work with that, that's not a problem. Um, so, oh, I like the fact that when you continue, you go back to like one of the starting points. It doesn't hit you all the way back to the start. So we'll go back up and see where we're going and um, well, we'll just have a, we'll have a look around. But yeah, uh, controls are very simple. Like I said, you've got a uh, jump. You've got a if you push downwards, you you roll in that sphere ball thing that you turn into, which is cool. Um, and then we've got obviously your attack button and jump button. It's very very simple. I like simple. It works. Uh, also, if you want to shoot upwards, you push up on the control pad and then your fire button, and you will go places um and yeah uh, music and sounds very good as well but you know we always like a good bit of music and sound on our games um so you've got both of those in this game and the music changes depending on which zone you're in also so that works very well as well um so all around pretty much it's very very solid game uh it spawned quite a lot of sequels as well i think there was metroid 2 on the nintendo Entertainment. I think there was Super Metroid and there was also GameCube ones as well. And I think most of them allowed you to play the original game in one form or another, uh, but you had to unlock it, I think. Um, I, I would need to look into that, but I think that's how it worked. Uh, let me know what your favourite Metroid game was in the comments because I always like to know because I'm a nosy git. No, it's because I like to know what you guys have where you are with your games and what you feel is best because you know shared interests and all that jazz so uh yeah let me know in the comments did you play metroid and did you complete it did you enjoy it i mean i suppose if you completed it then you must have enjoyed it because if you didn't you would have binned it <laughs> there you go um energy is i uh, see I've got, I've got i've got 10 missiles now uh pressing select by the way will switch between missiles and guns so uh pretty nice way of doing things i think the select button was pretty well used I think on the uh, on the Nintendo so uh, no complaints there um, difficulty wise I think it's pretty good actually it's got a good learning curve it doesn't throw you in at the deep end too much and it enables you to um, learn as you go which I always think is a nice thing to do oh god there, there, there you go now I'm running off platforms because I can right uh, I'm not doing very well here am I no I've just exploded so let's uh, let's continue where we left off Never mind, never mind. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. Uh, and you have passwords, which is nice, because if you run out of lives, I guess you can put your password in and continue where you left off, which is always a good thing. Um, I love the NES, actually. It's one of my favourite consoles that I grew up with. But then, you know, it was it was in an era where it was Sega versus Nintendo, and either you had one or the other, and not very many people had both. And I, I just... It's only now that... As an adult, I'm sort of like going, why did we have these wars in the playgrounds? Why did we say that, you know, Sega was better than Nintendo and blah, 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 blah. Each system had its flaws. Each system's had its strength. It's like now, Xbox versus PlayStation. What's the point in arguing? They both play games. They're both social network gaming consoles. Why, are this, why is there so much hate between them all? Bloody hell, if you've got that much hate for them, just, have, just get both and be done with it. <sighs> anyway, I'll climb off my soapbox now. Um, so yeah, control system, sound, graphics, love them. Absolutely brilliant. Gameplay is phenomenally good. Good uh, Controls are tight as well, so it responds very well to what you're doing on screen, which is always a good thing for you gamers out there. And um, yeah, I think, I think this is one of those games that you should have as a bucket list game uh, on the Nintendo. If you're a Nintendo fan, you've probably already had this anyway. I'm really not doing very well here. Um, but I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying it. It's good fun. 
and that's what games are about isn't it ladies and gents fun and uh yeah so i'm you know i'm, I'm gonna look at the other metroid games as we go through the channel anyway and uh, I'm, I'm, i hope you'll enjoy those when they come to the channel these are the kind of games I'd like to play live as well, because obviously I won't be reviewing them on live streams. I will be looking at them. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll be playing them and uh, probably more than 15 minutes at a time, which is always a good thing. So there we are. Um, I'm looking at maybe themes as well, like Friday night fight night and stuff like that. I'm not decided if I'm going to do which night, which nights I'm going to do, what times I'm going to do, etc, etc. Having kids is quite a difficult one because obviously I don't want them walking in and making noise. I mean, yeah, I've got a 13 year old and I've got a nine year old. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, but you never know. So, um, yeah, we'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, this is a great game. And uh, any age, I would say, because it's, uh, it's a Nintendo Entertainment System game, it's not exactly blood, guts and gore, so give them a go. It's a good, solid shoot em up um, And, obviously, play replay value is there. As you can see, I've lost a few lives already and I'm still coming back for it. And it's not just because of the review, because if I hated it, I would have stopped it by now. I absolutely am enjoying this game 100%. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so replay values there, the actual playability is there. And of course, um, coming back. And uh, this is a one player game, but again, make a one player into a multiplayer. And easily done by seeing if you can do levels in a certain amount of time or see how far your friends can get when and then just do it that way. So there's always ways to make a single player into a multiplayer and you know I love my multiplayer. So uh, let's let's get some let's get some friends around the console and just have a good night of fun gaming pizza and beer or coke if and that's Coca-Cola, not cocaine. Just so you know, because that's that's bad. Okay, um, that about wraps it up for today. But I hope you've enjoyed the review, and, I'm, and uh, I can't wait to hear from you, from you guys in the comments. Let me know in the in the comments if you've completed this game, played it, or whether or not you would be interested in playing it for the first time if you haven't played it previously. I've uh, I always enjoy seeing when people have bought games or they've managed to get hold of games based on the 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 footage they've seen and the review that I've given so you know if you guys have uh, been inspired at all by this video then that's great if I've made you smile at least once then I've done my job today so thanks ever so much for tuning in you without you guys it would just be me warbling away to nobody um so thanks very much for tuning in do appreciate it and for all you new subscribers out there welcome aboard you've got a lot of uh, videos to to uh catch up on nearly 600 can you believe it 600 videos oh man we are approaching that that benchmark actually so uh i think three more videos and we're there do i do a 600 video special i don't know anyway we will sort that out maybe i'll do a live stream for our 600 video let's see uh anyway hope you've been, hope you've been entertained i hope you've enjoyed the video remember to leave a like and share and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and uh please help me get the algorithms with youtube and uh Again, I can't thank you guys enough. Anyway, if I don't speak to you again before the 11th, I will be back around the 19th. So until then, my friends, look out for the live streaming, by the way, because um, uh, I will be putting that up and uh, just keep an eye on the channel. And uh, if you do, a, if you get notified, maybe that might be an idea. But uh, I think I'm going to start on Twitch and we'll see where we go. But uh, I've, I've got a feeling that I'm going to be doing it on all three uh, platforms anyway. So whatever your preferred one is, I'm sure I will be coming your way very soon. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back very soon. I'm going to go off and enjoy my holiday and I will be back incredibly soon. So until then, my friends, you keep on gaming and it's time for me to sign off with a bye for now. Bye bye.